Hey, how's it going guys? RC Hobby Steve here, back with another video. Uh, today's video, I have a small unboxing here for you guys today. Um, as you can see, uh, the package in front of me. This package is coming out from a good friend of mine and also a sponsored team member, Trevor Rushford. Hopefully I'm saying your last name correctly. He is the... Um, he is the founder of RCEC, um, where he he does he holds competitions and events um, up where he lives out in Vermont, and um, he's sponsored by a lot of great companies um, and people. Also, uh, he's just a good guy who loves RCs just like me. Um, so I'll be sure to leave his Facebook, his Instagram, um, and a little information about him in the description so you can check it out. He's a great guy. So yeah, we made uh, a little deal over the um, this week uh, whenever this video um, ends up uploading. I ended up sending him my old Cherokee hard body. Uh, it's the red one that you guys know uh, from my Instagram pictures and I needed some parts for my Bronco build that I'm doing here that's on my left and he so happened to have some stuff that I needed um, so I'm going to unbox this he said he added some other stuff in here I'm not exactly sure what else he added I know we agreed on some king full set of king shocks I needed a winch and I also needed a bumper um, to sit that winch on for the front. So let's go ahead and check what's inside this box. All right. All right. Let's see what we got in here. So in here we have nice some trucker door tires. These are pretty awesome. These don't have the foams in them, I believe. Yeah, no foams in here. That's all right. Um, these are some awesome scale tires for sure. You always see these on um, the real 1-1 rigs. So it's always cool to see some trepidors. I know, I believe these are the stock ones that you usually see on, um, what you call it? The, when Axio used to come out with all their other vehicles. I, I believe the Jeep also, when they came out with the Jeep, um, the Jeep had uh, these, these tires. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to fix the exposure here so we have some better lighting. Just get it right. There we go. Some better lighting for you guys. All right, so. There we go, full set of tires there. Um, what else do we have in here? Oh, nice. He threw in some boom racing type eye shocks. Um, these are the 90 millimeter, I think. I'm not exactly sure. All right, so I do have a pair of these in my, um, in my, what you call it, my Wraith. So, here we go. Boom. Boom racing. These are nice. All right. Sweet. I've been wanting some of these for a while. These are some, some of his decals from Shred the Ledge, I believe, if I'm not wrong. Yep, shred the ledge stickers, some decals. These will definitely be going on some of my trucks and a bunch of RCEC stickers that I definitely will be putting some of these onto um, the Bronco and my other rakes. So that is sweet. Appreciate some decals. Boom. All right. And of course, we also have we have the 
Poison Spider bumper here. I don't know if you guys can see that well. This exposure is not cooperating with me today. There we go. Sorry for the noise in the background to my cats. So I'm definitely going to have to clean up this, um, what you call it, this winch. But he also had the bumper mount here included. I'm just going to have to see how I'm going to incorporate incorporate this bumper with the winch. If I can't get the bumper to sit right on the body, um, then I'm just going to eliminate the bumper and probably make my own mount or figure something out for the winch in the front. Um, now, this did come with a uh, power shift RC uh, winch controller. Not exactly sure what this thing is for. I think this is for to control the winch, I'm assuming. So he said that this does plug into um, my receiver, so let's hope it does that I don't need anything extra. Um, if not, then I can always use a Y connector and use my 2S LiPo with the winch. I'll figure something out. And now for the thing that I really was interested in. Um, full set of King Shocks. I think these are the 100 millimeter ones, but these are the shocks I really wanted, I was really interested in because obviously it makes the truck look a whole lot more scale than what it already is instead of using those icon shocks. So I'm definitely gonna rebuild these, get them all cleaned up, looking nice, and gonna get this winch set up. Hopefully today I have to figure this out for sure. And yeah, so thanks Trevor. Uh, I really appreciate the extra stuff that um, you decided to throw into this box to help me out. Um, it's always good to know that there's people out, out there um, in the world like you that help out others. I know I sent out a package to Joshua Kane Elliott from ESP. I donated a Jeep body to him, but what he didn't know was inside the box that I sent him was also um, a Land Rover D90 body. Um, that my fiance had painted and I just so happened to decide to send it out to him for his um, wife. Um, so again, many thanks. Uh, this will help my project out a lot. Um, tomorrow being Saturday, November 10th or 11th, I believe, I'll be getting some new front and rear axles for the Bronco as well that have beef tubes in them. Um, so that'll um, bring some strength to my axles as well. So, yep, that concludes the video. Be sure to check out my sponsor, Reefs RC, on Facebook. Uh, in the description, I always post uh, what the 422 HD servo is all about. It's a servo that Reef himself has um, come up with and produced. And it's a badass servo, so be sure to check it out. Uh, if you're if you want to place an order for a couple or just for one just to test it out His email will be in the description of this video So be sure to hit, hit up my description hit up his Facebook and ask him any questions you may have um, I'll try to answer any questions you may have to the best of my ability and Yeah, thanks for stopping by and watching another RHS video. Peace out